Hey guys. Um, okay, so I just got done zooming with a few of you guys. Um, this is the overview that I went through kind of in Zoom, um, because I know not everybody can get on uh, at 2.30. Um, okay, so for Algebra 1, when you go to your Google Classroom, you're going to want to click on Classwork. It should be up here at the top. And then scroll down until you get to the AMI Week 3. Okay, they're listed in order here. So I'm going to start at number one, the morning meeting. I'll click on that and it should open up your Google Slides. Okay, so this is where you're going to start every week is with the morning meeting. And it just kind of has an overview of what we're going to be doing. Um, we are focusing on just the super important stuff that will uh, help you out in geometry and in algebra two. Okay, so um, this stuff that we're learning is essential. You will see it again in geometry and then for sure in algebra two. Okay. Um, you can see the agenda here. This will have a, a list of what we're doing this week. And then if you click on the next slide, we can see the detailed breakdown. All right. So for the first one, lesson 7.6 video and notes, there's a link here. You can click watch the video. As you're watching the video, I would click here to have these notes open. So when I click those, that's going to open up this, right? The Algebra 7.6. The first pages are the blank version of the notes. I would use those to follow along with the video as you go. Um, the video does not do every single problem though. So one of the things that I would recommend doing is after you followed along with the video, try a couple yourself that the video did not do and then scroll down to check your answers. Okay, so you have the blank notes, and then if you scroll down, these are the filled in notes. At the very end, you have what would have normally been our um, 7.6 homework assignment. This is not something that you are required to turn into me. Okay, so this is just here if you need the extra practice, if you want the extra practice, if you find yourself really struggling with this, you can work a couple of these problems, send me a picture and I'll help you get, get them figured out. Okay. So this is entirely optional right here. All right. You do not turn this in. This is just if you need the extra help. Okay. So the video and the notes and then the optional practice, that'll get you ready. Okay. Once you've got a handle on it, then you're going to start on the IXL. So it's algebra. I know some of you have like levels instead of, um, topics like it'll say level K instead of algebra one. Um, so if yours does that, then it's level K. If yours just says algebra, then it's algebra one. Um, so there's two IXLs this week, the AA six factor quadratics, special cases. Um, I'm going to open that one up. These problems are going to be exactly like the ones that you did in your video and your notes. Okay. Um, when this loads, I'll, I'll work through one or two of those problems. Um, and then we will look at the, the next one. Okay. So this one we are factoring nine F squared minus one. Now I would recommend watching the video that's posted right here. Okay. If it is still not making sense to you, let me know. I'm going to walk through one of these problems. Um, but I wouldn't expect it to make just a whole lot of sense until you've seen this first video. Okay. So when we're factoring this, this is what we call a difference of squares. Um, when we factor it, I'm going to open up my parentheses here. What we're really doing is, is we're just taking the square root of each term. So if I do the square root of nine F squared, right? The square root of nine is three. And then the square root of F squared is just F, right? So nine F squared, if I take the square root of that is just three F minus well, then I have the square root of one, which is one. Okay. But here's the thing about a difference of squares. We do it one way with a minus sign and then we do the exact same thing, but with a plus sign. Okay. So when I multiply these, right, if I FOIL, not a three F times three F would give me the nine F squared. Three F times positive one is a positive three F. Negative one times three F is a negative three F, right? So I have a positive three F and a negative three F. Those cancel. 
And then I have negative one times positive one to get the negative one right here. Okay. So we'll submit. Awesome. Okay. This one is not a difference of squares. And I can tell that because it has three terms, right? We have this middle piece right here. This one is actually a perfect square. So I'm going to kind of start out doing the same thing here where I take the square root of the first term, right? The square root of four gives me two. So four Z squared, if I take the square root becomes two Z. And then I'm going to just kind of skip over this middle term and come on to this end term right here. Well, the square root of nine is three. So I'm going to put minus three. Now, the reason that I put minus three right here is because this says minus 12 Z. Because it has this middle term, when I put my second binomial in here, I'm still going to keep the two Z and I'm going to keep the three. I'm also this time going to keep the minus sign. Okay. So last time it had no middle term. So we had a plus sign and a minus sign. This time it does have a middle term. So we have a minus sign and a minus sign. Okay. Now I know that it's a minus sign and a minus sign because this was a negative 12 Z, right? It's this sign right here that tells me what's going on. So if I double check by foiling, okay, I have two Z times two Z. There's my four Z squared. I have two Z times negative three. So that's negative six Z. Negative three times two Z. That's another negative six Z. So if I have negative six Z and negative six Z, that's where the negative 12 Z is coming from. And then the negative three times negative three to get me a positive nine right here. Okay. So we can always check our answer by foiling our two binomials. And when we combine like terms, it should always equal what we started with. Okay. Okay. So last one we're going to look at, I think for this one, this one's a difference of squares because there's no middle term there. So if I do the square root of four G squared, I have two G minus the square root of one, which is one. And then since there's no middle term, I have two G plus one. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I lied. We'll do one more. Last one. Okay. This one is not a difference of squares, right? This one is a perfect square. So we're going to do the square root of 16 T. So now I have four T and then I'm going to skip over this for right now. The square root of one is one. And because this is a minus sign right here, I'm going to put minus one. Okay. Now, since I had a middle term here, we'll do four T minus one. And if I foil to check my answer, 4t times 4t is 16t squared. 4t times negative 1 is negative 4t. Negative 1 times 4t is negative 4t. So I had negative 4t and another negative 4t to make the negative 8t. Negative 1 times negative 1 to make it a positive 1. Okay, so those are the two types of special cases that you're going to see. All right. If we come back to the morning meeting. Once you've completed the special cases, then you'll click here to do the factor quadratics using algebra tiles. I went through a couple of these examples in the Zoom lesson, um, so I'll, I'll do a couple here. With the algebra tiles, we're counting the pieces and we're making the pieces match both the first polynomial and the factored form, okay? So the factored form here, these are a tiny bit different We'll start out by just matching the polynomial and then we'll look at how the factored form also matches with that. So this says X squared plus four X plus three, right? So I need a model that has X squared in it. Well, this first model has two X squareds. The second model also has two X squareds. The third model has one X squared and the fourth model has one X squared. So I know it has to be one of these two. If I come back up here, it says plus four X. So I need four of these green X's. Well, this one has five green X's. This one has four green X's and it also has three ones. So X squared plus four X plus three X squared plus four X plus three. 
Okay, so let's see where this is coming from now that we know which diagram matches with it. This, if we think about our models as being whole rectangles instead of being individual pieces like this, this represents the length times the width, okay? So for example, on this first piece right here, if this is a rectangle, the length of it is going to be 2x plus 1, and the width of it is x plus 3, right? We're just counting straight along the sides here. Well, the one that we picked a second ago is this one right here, right? So if I count the length of it, I have x plus 1, and the width of it, I have x plus 3. So x plus 1, x plus 3 x plus 1, x plus 3. Okay, so it matches the polynomial and the factored form by looking at the edges of the piece. Okay, um, Okay. we'll look at one more, and we're just going to do this one from the factored form. Okay, I don't want to go through and count all those pieces to see which one has nine of these things, so I'm just going to look at my factored form. x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. So here, if I go straight down the edge, I've got 2x plus 3, right? So, so far so good, 2x plus 3. And then if I go straight across the bottom, x plus 3, x plus 3, right? x plus 3, and then I have 2x plus 3. So I know that it has to be this first one. Now to double check myself, I'm just going to make sure that these pieces also match, right? I have 2x squared. I do in fact have 9x's and I have 9 ones, right? So 2x squared plus 9x plus 9. All right. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that I'm asking you to do on your IXL. And then always please complete the, the weekly check-in. Um, that's my favorite part of each week is we're getting to read your responses there, so please make sure you do that. We will Zoom again on Wednesday at 2.30 for Algebra. Um, if 2.30 if doesn't work for you, you can uh, let me know. Um, I will record whatever information I give out and post that in Google Classroom. Uh, live meeting will be at 2.30 if you have any questions or anything that we need to iron out. Okay. All right. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy, and I hope you're enjoying your time at home.